So we want to get on with the rest of the program here. And uh, in the spirit of celebration, celebration and recognition, I uh, would ask Patty Stratton, our executive officer, to present the foundation's awards. But before Patty takes the microphone, I have an extra page of notes you can see. I, I want to take a moment to recognize Patty. And for those of you uh, who aren't aware, for the past nine years, Patty has served as the Foundation Executive Officer. And at that time, she's helped shape the face of the Foundation and bring about change and progress for Virginia. This June, Patty will retire from her position as Executive Officer. Uh, in order to help with the transition to a new Executive Officer, Patty's agreed to stay on for a few additional months to help in that process. And so on behalf of the Board of Directors and the Foundation staff, we want to thank uh, Patty and wish her the very best in future endeavors. Thank you, Don. At this time, we would like to recognize some special people who have supported the Foundation and its work. Founded in 1953, the Eastern Illinois University Foundation has, since its inception, been dependent upon the generosity of its members and volunteers to fulfill its mission of support to the university. Beginning in 1993, the foundation has formally recognized and honored its volunteers and donors. In 1997, these awards were renamed the Burnham and Nancy Neal Philanthropy Awards in appreciation of their leadership, support, and dedication to Eastern Illinois University and the Foundation. The critical support and sustaining financial commitments provided by these distinguished philanthropists are essential to the future of the university and the student it serves. This year, we are pleased to recognize the following outstanding philanthropists. Florence Coles Ballinger, an alumna of Eastern Illinois State Teachers College with a two-year diploma in 1925, went on to become a distinguished educator in Chicago and Florida schools. She retired in 1976 at the age of 70 after a dedicated career in teaching. She then volunteered daily to tutor English for students who required assistance with their writing skills. Florence and her husband, William, never had children. The $1.2 million given to EIU from her portion of their estate was used to name the Coles Ballinger Teacher Center in the newly renovated Booth Library. This quarter million dollar center is the home for the juvenile and K-12 grade curriculum collection. There is access to electronic databases related to education and teaching. The center also has seating for a number of visitors and is used for forums and activities for area teachers and education students. The remaining $1 million of her estate gift is being used to support faculty development activities linked to improvement of teaching and learning. Accepting the 2010 Outstanding Philanthropist Award on behalf of the Florence Coles Ballinger Estate is Vice President for University Advancement, Bob Martin. I'd just like to say on behalf of the Florence Coles Ballinger Estate, on behalf of Mrs. B, I humbly accept this award and thank her for it. Thank you. Louise Bowie has a planned gift that will establish the John and Louise Bowie Scholarship for Eastern students who are graduates of Edwards County High School. Louise attended Eastern for two years in 1953 and 54. She was a Tri-C. She graduated from the University of Illinois with a degree in elementary education and then worked as an executive assistant at Arthur Anderson. Louise was not able to join us tonight, so accepting the 2010 Outstanding Philanthropist Award on her behalf is Vice President for Student Affairs, Dan Nadler.
also would like to humbly accept uh, the recognition for Louise. Unfortunately, she couldn't be here with us this evening. Uh, but firsthand, I certainly know uh, the number of phone calls we receive, the number of emails we receive from our students looking for scholarships, looking for ways in which they can help pay for their education. So in addition to Louise and thanking her for her generosity, I would like to thank all of you for your generosity. It makes a big difference. Thanks so much. Gary and Jan Ernst have planned an estate gift for the support and enhancement of the Department of Communication, Disorders, and Sciences, and for the Dr. Gary E. Ernst and Janet E. Ernst Endowment, providing scholarships for either first-generation college students or for students who plan to pursue a career as school speech-language hearing pathologists. Gary and Jan met while at Eastern and both graduated in 1963. Gary from chemistry, Jan from CDS. Gary went on to graduate from the U of I School of Veterinary Medicine and spent most of his career as sole proprietor of a veterinary practice in Panama City, Florida. Jan went on to graduate with a master's in speech pathology and spent her career as a teacher. The Ernst speak of how EIU was the foundation of why they both have been so successful in their careers and in life. It is a pleasure to present the 2010 Outstanding Philanthropists Award to Gary and Jan Ernst.
Jane couldn't be here this evening. She wasn't feeling well. Uh, her, she uh, sprained her right arm and couldn't do her hair to her satisfaction. <laughs> I believe in telling the truth. <laughs> Jane and I both came from uh, fiscally uh, challenged families. And, uh, and our lives were made much better by education, mine by degrees from New York University, and Jane's from Eastern and the University of Illinois. I'd like to say something serious to you this evening, and I'd like you to think about it. I think, I really think, that too much is made over people like me, and some of you, those of us who are in a position to give money to the university. Much too much for us. Not enough attention paid to scholars, researchers, and first-rate teachers, and that should be the focus of what we do. So mere assertion of quality is not enough. Really, you've got to step up to the plate and say, we are going to support these people. We're going to help them in research. We're going to help them in undergraduate research. We're going to help them with scholarships. We are going to underwrite quality education. And that is what makes us free. My mother came from a terrible place in Europe and made me promise to never go back there. Uh, which I have, I have no intention of going. And my folks never went to high school, never went to junior high school, but they knew that a university education was the passport to freedom and opportunity if we worked hard. And so I think our real task is to encourage students with talent, ability, irrespective of background, gender, religion, to do what they do well, to follow their views, to help them, to encourage them, and to tell them it's a good thing to do. We should also say the same to our faculty. All right, I've said that piece. Thank you. <laughs> Established the Bobby Miller Scholarship in honor and memory of her late husband, Bobby G. Miller, to support students majoring in business. Bob graduated from Eastern Illinois University with a bachelor's degree in business. He served two years in a medical unit of the U.S. Army, then returned to EIU, earning a master's degree in 1956. Bob worked for the Internal Revenue Service and worked as a service manager for Waddell and Reed for 35 years. Bob was a member of the EIU Foundation and the EIU Alumni Association, where he served as president of the board for two terms. It is a pleasure to present the 2010 Outstanding Philanthropist Award to Mrs. Bobby G. Miller. a planned gift which will leave an unrestricted gift to be used for the university's greatest needs as determined by the president of the university. Carol Mosella Richardson graduated from Eastern in 1973 with a BSc in education, one of five Mosella family members to graduate from EIU. The Mosella family has a paver in the commemorative courtyard. Carol went on to attend Miami of Ohio, graduating in 1974 with an MSc. She is very active in EIU activities in the Phoenix-Scottsdale region, 
has hosted receptions on behalf of Eastern and has attended the annual alumni gatherings in her area each winter. Carol, who is a member of the EIU Foundation, could not be with us tonight, but Tim Gover, Professor Emeritus and Mayor of the City of Mattoon, is accepting the 2010 Outstanding Philanthropist Award on her behalf. Thank you very much. I'm honored to accept this award for Carol. Uh, I've known Carol and her family that have been very dear friends of mine for nearly 50 years. And as Patty said, Carol lives in Scottsdale and she wanted to be here this evening, but uh, she had a prior commitment which she could not change. And so she asked that I accept this award for her and she wanted me to thank the EIU Foundation Board of Directors for presenting her with this very prestigious award. Uh, she really has a soft spot in her heart for uh, Eastern. So on behalf of Carol, I say thank you very much. Roberts has established a planned gift for a scholarship for children from farm families who have financial need and who graduated from high schools in Coles, Douglas, Edgar, Clark, Cumberland, Shelby, or Moultrie counties. Barbara is a 1949 art education graduate and a retired counselor at Long Beach School System. She has a lifetime, uh, she is a lifetime member of the Alumni Association. She was not able to attend tonight, but Vice President Dan Nadler is accepting the 2010 Outstanding Philanthropist Award on her behalf. Thank you very much. I'm very honored to accept this award on behalf of, my, uh, for, on behalf of Barbara. Um, certainly education, that's what Eastern Illinois University is all about, and certainly one of the hallmarks Eastern Illinois University experience. But also, we often refer to ourselves as being surrounded by corn and beans. And so what an appropriate gift for someone who made their life, their career, in education to give back to those hard-working children of our farmers. Uh, certainly, we hear a lot around here about whether we're getting enough rain, too much rain, is it too dry, is it too hot, is it too cold? But we often forget about how hard those families work and the dedication and the sacrifice that they make for their families, for their education, and for us. So this is a very appropriate, generous gift, and I'm very honored to receive it on her behalf. Thank you. Thanks, Patty. And on a personal note, uh, Marilyn Miller, uh, we moved away from Illinois in 1982, and when I lived in Springfield, one of the great joys of my life was every Monday morning with Sentona Club at 6 a.m. seeing Bobby G. Miller's smiling face over some breakfast. Uh, the next person doesn't uh, need an introduction, but every time I see him, I'm reminded of uh, my, my own firm in Seattle. Uh, for those of you who know the NBA, I've got a guy named Detlef Shrimp working for us, at six foot ten. Uh, my other partner, Kevin Fitzwilson, was captain of Santa Clara's team at six foot eight, and Steve Nash was on the team, and another partner at six foot four. So if I could ever recruit Bill Perry to come on, I could play point guard, and I think we could win a few ball games. With that as an introduction, Dr. Perry. Thank you very much, Don. What I have in height, I make up for in slowness. <laughs> so, uh, 
right, good evening everyone, and uh, thank you for being here tonight on this very special event, this very special time of year, so we can acknowledge your spirit of generosity and your commitment to Eastern Illinois University. You can express that commitment through our EIU Foundation, and I want to thank the EIU Foundation leadership on a, especially uh, express my appreciation to Don Gear for his leadership as president, and uh, Patty Stratton for many years of uh, strong leadership for the foundation. So thanks indeed. I'd like to recognize a few uh, guests here tonight, some of whom have already been recognized. Uh, we couldn't do what we do without strong leadership from our board of trustees. We have an excellent board of trustees that are focused on what's good for the students and what's good for Eastern Illinois University. So I'll introduce again uh, Leo Welch and his wife Kay, who are at the head table. Please uh, give them a round of applause. And then Dr. Robert Webb and his wife Lourdine at the table back here. And then uh, Roger Cradville and his wife Mary, right over here. Also, uh, what we do at Eastern could not be done without a great team, a great administrative team, a great faculty team. I did want to introduce my vice presidents who are here tonight. Uh, Blair Lord, our vice president for academic affairs, is at another function uh, down the hall, uh, the graduate alumni, uh, distinguished alumni awards. Uh, but I did want to introduce uh, Dr. Dan Nadler, as you, who you've already seen tonight, our vice president for student affairs. Vice President for University Advancement, and also uh, not able to be here tonight is uh, Dr. Weber, Bill Weber. So this team is uh, moving Eastern Illinois University forward, supporting our faculty and students in everything that they do. Well, with apologies to Charles Dickens, I want to speak tonight of three spirits of commitment. This is not a scary story, though. First is the spirit of commitment past. The commitment of all of those no longer with us who believed in EIU and in its role as an engine of opportunity, an institution of opportunity for generations of students, who believed in its role as a normal school, and then a teacher's college, and then a state college, and then a university. We honor the commitment of those who enabled a campus to spring from this prairie soil and created a place of opportunity for generations of sons and daughters of Illinois. People who gave their professional lives to create a university committed to excellence, personal relationships, opportunity, and service. The commitment of those who saw the value of scholarships as making the difference in accessibility to higher education. The commitment of those who knew that an investment in education was the best investment you could make in this society and in this country. And everything that it stands for. Isaac Newton, the great physicist, once said, if I have seen farther, it is because I have stood on the shoulders of giants. We today are able to invest in the future of EIU. EIU, a maturing university, because we now stand on the shoulders of countless individuals, giants, every single one, who deeply believed in our values and in our mission. That body of believers in EIU that includes many who we remember and who we admire. Second is the spirit of commitment present. Now imagine, like the Christmas Carol, the spirit of, of uh, commitment present comes to you in a vision. Probably going to ask you for some money. Probably going to look like a university president <laughs> or, or a vice president for advancement. But imagine that that uh, spirit of commitment present says, I want to introduce you to a person. I want to introduce you to EIU right now. Gerald, would you come join me? Now this has not been rehearsed, and, and I, I have terminally embarrassed Jerry. <laughs> and, and, and you need to recruit someone fast and tall, Don. This is the guy right here. 
Um, Jerry and I are seniors, right? We met as, we met as freshmen. Uh, very first uh, Eastern Reads I was involved in. Uh, the book was A, A Hope in the Unseen. He remembers it four years ago. Right, A Hope in the Unseen. So I walk into this uh, session, and you know, I, I'm a math professor, so this liberal arts stuff is kind of a tricky thing for me. But I, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I walk in there, and I've got this group of students, and one of them is this kind of tall, shy freshman. Uh, we struck up a conversation, we talked about the book. Uh, and you never know when you meet someone as a freshman whether you're going to see them again. Uh, but Eastern is the kind of school where you run into each other because it's still small. It's that place where we believe in personal relationships. And so I would see uh, Jerry oftentimes going to or from calculus class because he's a science major and uh, my office is in Old Main. And so I would, I would see him from time to time and I'd say, well, how's calculus going? And sometimes the answer was, all right. All right. <laughs> We'll leave it at that, he says. Uh, but then I remember toward the end of his freshman year, much about this time of year, you know, uh, new life springing from the ground, the flowers and the trees are budding out. And he's got a spring in his step and a smile and a twinkle in his eye. And I said, Jerry, what's going on? And he said, guess what, Dr. Perry? I'm going to get to work in a lab this summer. And as I recall, one of your professors in biology, was it? Yeah. yeah. One of that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, well, I started. I don't know. Uh, I had Dr. Minus as my uh, re or, uh, advisor, and I came in his office and said I was like, interested in research. And he said, "Well, uh, we found some money, so you want to stay for the summer?" And I said, "Yeah." He said, <laughs> and then started off uh, doing research in bio. And Ecology and moved on from there, I guess. Really nice. So, thank you. And so, there I saw it in one moment the spirit of EIU, a faculty member, connection with a student, and all of a sudden, horizons like that. And here he is tonight with one of the research presentations here in, as chemistry, right? Now, of course, we didn't lose track after that. I would see from time to time. Uh, you may have a scholarship or two, but you also work. Yeah. Work, work in the, at least in the Java Beanery, where I would order my double espresso from yeah. time to time. And, uh, and uh, so I, I, I would keep seeing uh, Gerald. And then uh, just the other day, we were talking about, okay, when you walk on this stage, you're going to stick around for some more research. It'll probably be December? Yep, December. Yeah, <laughs> he didn't mean it like that. <laughs> uh, well, at about that time, the tearful farewell and the bittersweet parting will occur. But your future is great because of what happened for you here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And if you had a part in a scholarship that made this possible, or this story, which I see time and time again, possible, then you should feel really good about yourself and really good about the future of science and the future of this country. Thank you, Dr. Ellis. Thank you. The spirit of commitment present, and you embody it too. You here tonight, and many, as we've seen, who are not been able to attend, Embody that spirit of giving, that current commitment to EIU. And you've made gifts to Eastern that many times honor those who have gone before us, the names of those, the spirit of commitment past. And you now have created the commitment of spirit present, and it runs deep. And because of that spirit, we have been able to launch the campaign for Eastern, the EINU campaign. It's a comprehensive campaign, the largest comprehensive campaign in the history of Eastern Illinois University. We call it the Expect Greatness Campaign. Because of the combination of spirits of commitment past and commitment present, we are poised to widen and deepen our relationships, 
to build our volunteer base and to raise $50 million in support of Eastern Illinois University. You, the, e, the U in E-I-N-U, are the key to our momentum and success. You are the reason that we are able to step out and make this bold proclamation that we expect greatness of ourselves, greatness of each other, and greatness of our university. And all of us together, students, faculty, staff, alumni, can generate the energy, the will, to achieve that goal. And we are going to do that, and it will carry us in to a bright future. Third is the spirit of commitment future. What we do today inspires the future. The example we set now drives the future. We, with what we do, create the shoulders upon which the next generation will stand. And they will stand on our shoulders to envision a future even brighter and bolder than we can imagine right now. I thank you for your inspirational giving. Your giving inspires others to give. It provides examples of how to support the university. It inspires our faculty, staff, and students to perform at ever higher levels. The giving of the future is inspired by your giving today. The three spirits of commitment together represent a continuity of commitment at EIU that is a hallmark of the university. They represent a spirit of generosity that each of you hold dear to your heart. Representing a spirit of generosity that is at the very heart of a great university. I want to thank you for remembering the past, investing now in EIU's future, and providing a great example to the future. And one day, people will look back from the standpoint of history, at the long EIU blue line of those who believed in EIU and committed to invest in its potential for greatness. They will see all of you in this room, in that line. They will see all of those who you remember with your gifts in that line. All of those who we honor tonight for substantial philanthropy and, and going the extra mile in philanthropy, and many, many more. Thank you for your belief in EIU, all it has been, all it is now, and all it can be. Thank you. When we talk about expecting greatness at Eastern, what we're talking about is expecting more of ourselves to stretch ourselves beyond whatever we thought was possible. I think about the students who walk these paths, the alums who walk these paths, the dreams that they had, the goals that they developed, the relationships they formed, it's all part of the fabric and the tapestry of Eastern Illinois University. And it gives me great comfort to know that that's gone on for over 100 years and it's gonna go on for hundreds of years more. And when you look at the university and you 
think about how long it's been here and how long it's likely to be here, that really evokes some strong emotions on the part of parents and students. But the idea that this is a place to stay, that's here for the long run, is an important message that we have to convey in this campaign, that the enduring relationships are the ones that count, and that gifts to the campaign will foster those kind of relationships and continue them. I have been so fortunate to have a variety of relationships here at Eastern. First, as a student. Secondly, as a member of the Board of Trustees. And thirdly, and most importantly, as a parent who sent two daughters to attend Eastern Illinois University. It was very apparent that the professors that I had in Eastern wanted me not only to be successful in class, they were concerned about my ability to be successful outside of the classroom. Our daughters decided that they were going to come to Eastern. I knew in my heart that they had made the right choice because I knew they were going to experience that same type of relationship with the university and with the professors in the university that would impact them not only for the time that they spent on campus, but the impact would last a lifetime. Greatness to me is knowing that the things that you do don't just impact yourself, they impact others, and it's bigger than just you. As a single mother of three, I have a lot of challenges, and my professors have been extremely understanding and supportive. I had someone really step in and be a mentor for me, and that was my boss, Ken Baker, the director of the Student Recreation Center. And he talked a lot, a lot about the options that I had and a lot of the things that I wanted to pursue as far as my professional goals. It was because of Mr. Baker that I ended up pursuing my master's in college student affairs. Out of my parents, grandparents, and siblings, I am the first to earn a degree. And as of this December, I will be the first to earn a master's and hopefully I will be the first to own a Juris Doctorate uh, in a few years. Expect greatness. Gary and I were both, both had scholarships when we were in college, and I thought, oh my gosh, that would be so awesome to to benefit another student the way we were. It has reconnected me with Eastern. It has reconnected me with the Jazz Studies program. Um, I have gotten to see some of the, uh, my friends from that time. That was an unexpected pleasure, reconnecting with Eastern. It's something that is very important to me, very important, was very important to my husband, and I'm glad to be back to be a part of that. Well, Gary Gert was a music student here, and I think it's an important that his, his legacy is remembered, and these students will hopefully have a chance to do the same in the future, and I know that they, they have great potential for success, and they'll look back on their time at Eastern as fondly as, as Gary would. The scholarship has provided um, me with a little bit more stability um, as far as um, providing money for a couple more classes. Um, it allows me not to work as much. It, it allows me to uh, practice more, um, and it provides me with time with my wife. I think it's great that they're scholarship students and that they made it possible for me to be a scholarship student and work my way through college like they did. And hopefully someday I will do the same thing. Expect greatness. Expect greatness. Eastern Illinois University provides a wonderful, comprehensive study environment for our students, not just in the classroom, but our students actually get to see business in action, on site, on location. Uh, this past summer we went to Shanghai and Beijing. Uh, for our students it is critical to be exposed and to experience firsthand ex uh, emerging markets such as China or India 
at this point as they are the next big thing. And uh, for our students to go on trips that allow them to observe uh, executives in action, on site, um, is, is paramount to their education. Uh, greatness to me means to excel and to push the limits, to challenge yourself to the point that you can become great. Greatness to me is defined as someone who excels in his or her own field while still being a positive role model to the community. The workload that they provided me with has just made me feel like I can get through anything and that I'm well prepared for medical school. Eastern has helped me work towards greatness by surrounding me with great people and giving me all the tools necessary. I would actually say that one of Eastern's best qualities is the small student to teacher ratio. You get to work with the teachers, you actually get to know the teachers, and the teachers actually get to know you. Head coach Bob Spoo and defensive coordinator Rock Bellantoni have done a, a great job actually in helping me become who I am. Football definitely prepares you for life. Things can change, it's never how you predict, and it teaches you how to adjust and adapt. It also teaches you how much stronger you are than you actually think you are. Being at Eastern, that experience has helped me to learn that you don't just come out on the field and become an all-star. There's hours of practice and there's hours of lifting and running behind that, behind the scenes. And that also carries on to life, that you don't just become a successful doctor or a lawyer. You can pretty much achieve anything you want. It's just how bad do you want it? How hard are you willing to work for it? Expect greatness. So this campaign is about expecting greatness. Yes, that's true. But remember what our motto is. It's EI and you. It's Eastern Illinois University and you charting a course, a future for this university and for the students we serve. So I ask you, as you consider your role in this campaign, to expect greatness of yourself, to stretch beyond your horizons, to think about your horizons for giving and impact at Eastern Illinois University, stretch yourself, expect greatness, and remember, it's all about Eastern Illinois and you, EI and you. Just one postscript, uh, Alan Marcelin, uh, is going to medical school at the University of Miami. Uh, I told him that uh, you have to put up with warmer winters. He did, he did not seem discouraged. <laughs> I'll hand the microphone back over now. Uh, Dr. Perry, thank you for your leadership and dedication to the students, staff, and faculty at Eastern Illinois University. We look forward to working with you as a solid partner to advance the mission of the university. I'm honored to serve this year as president of Eastern Illinois University's Foundation Board of Directors. It's a privilege to be associated with an institution whose purpose is to educate and develop the intelligence, character, and integrity of our future leaders. We've come to know the superior achievements of our alumni who have achieved greatness in diversity ranging from nationally recognized educators to well-known entrepreneurs to governors to Super Bowl champions. Additionally, our award-winning faculty is instrumental in advising, mentoring, and supporting our students. But another critical human connection comes from our donors who have the vision, compassion, and generosity to ensure that the stranger receives the gift of an education. The critical resources are available for research programs or that academic facilities are adequately equipped to support the learning experience. 
Individuals and families are a driving force behind charitable giving in this country. And the same is certainly true at Eastern Illinois University. We know that many people were hurt by the recent recession and financial crisis. Despite those problems, it was encouraging to see that so many of you, as uh, Herb Lasky said, stepped up to the plate to support the university. In November, Bank of America Merrill Lynch released a study on high net worth philanthropy. The top responses on why individuals gave revolved around how effective their gifts were being utilized and quite simply being moved by being able to make a difference in the organization. Those responses indicated that during these difficult financial times, when community needs are ever more acute, donors are particularly concerned about whether the contributions were being used wisely and effectively. In other words, are they giving to an institution that is fulfilling its commitment? I want to assure you that your gifts to Eastern Illinois University Foundation are being effectively utilized to make a difference to our students and the university, and indeed, we are fulfilling our commitment to you. The Foundation's mission statement includes enhancing the educational activities of EIU students and employees by participating in and supporting academic and artistic programming through scholarships and grants. To that end, because of your generous support, we paid out last year over $884,000 in scholarships and more than $1.5 million in grants to the university. We are confident that we will increase that support in 2011. As we enter into the critical phase of the capital campaign, we continue to rely on your financial support and your ability to reach out to others. Those of us who are closely associated with the university already know about Eastern's ability to help its students defy expectations. Your dedication to Eastern Illinois University may be because you too realized your dreams and goals while attending Eastern. Through our combined efforts, we will continue the Eastern legacy of excellence, which has been so important to generations of its students. The campaign compels us to join, to imagine, to challenge, to reach, to enrich, to serve, to build, to count, and to expect greatness. With your continued support, we will achieve greatness. On behalf of the Foundation Board of Directors, thank you for your dedication and commitment to Eastern Illinois University. In closing, let me say thank you again to our 2010 Outstanding Philanthropist, Foundation members, donors, for your continued work and gifts supporting this fine university. Thank you as well to all of our students participating in this year's showcase of academic and artistic talent. Thank you to Kristen Can for her staff at Panther Catering for this wonderful meal. Thank you to Colleen Peterlich and her staff for campus scheduling for their wine and beverage service. Although next year, I think that anybody who has to say the word philanthropist should not be allowed to drink wine. <laughs> Especially if you say it more than once. Thank you to Freddie Hall, union staff and students for setting up the showcase reception again. Thank you to our photographer, Bev Cruz, We'll publish photos from tonight's dinner and weekend events on the Foundation's website soon. And thank you to the board's event planning committee, Dave Maurer, Tim Gover, and Christine Robertson. And thanks to everyone for coming out tonight and making this a wonderful evening. We hope you enjoy the rest of the activities we have planned for you.